Hello, hello, it's me again, Salma. Time for Revolution Pi. Our topic of today is how to flash a Raspberry Pi OS image to the Revolution Pi on Windows. But before, what is image and what does flashing mean? In fact, the image is a snapshot from the whole operating system with all installed programs on file. Like Full Backup, we also provide fresh and up-to-date images on our website. Our images contain changes to the Raspberry Pi OS like a real-time patch and of course the features that allow the Raspberry Pi OS to work with our Revolution Pi hardware. In this video, you will learn how to download and flash a new image to your Revolution Pi. Other question? Why should I flash the Revolution Pi? I'll tell you, for security reason. When your Rav Pi arrives, it may have been in storage for some time. In this meantime, we may have released new versions of our images so that the image in your Rav Pi may miss the newest updates and patches. So, to make sure you always have the most up-to-date system, we highly recommend to flash a new image as soon as you unbox your Revolution Pi before starting a new project. So, what do we need? We need Windows PC, micro USB, Revolution Pi Core Connect Compact, whatever you have, and only flat for, uh, for short. So, for me, I'm having the Connect. Let's start. So, now we will um, download and install the requirement programmers. As the first step, we will download the, the image. So choose the image that you want to be flashed. For me, I just will use this one. Uh, I posted the link uh, in the video description. As a second step, um, I, we will download the RPA boot. The RPA boot is software that will recognize the RPI once it is connected when it will emulate a storage device pretty much like a USB stick then it can be flashed uh, the download page of the RPA boot I posted too in the video description as the third step we will download the Win32 disk imager this software is able to actually flash the image on the Revolution Pi. You will find the link uh, to the download page in the video description. Yeah, and then please don't forget to install it. So we already, we have everything to flash. But before, please, if you are using the connect like me, don't forget to answer the bridge here this one like this in your revolution pi connect otherwise the watchdog will reboot during the flashing process if you don't know how to do it i added the link to the doco in the description let's start so it's time to connect the rough pi cut the power supply the rough pi must be powered off and then start the rpi boot I just started okay as you can see and then connect the micro USB to your laptop and to the rough pi just here hold on your rough pi might hear some windows sound yeah so the RPA boot will recognize uh, your device there is a letter will appears on your uh, Windows Explorer then 
open your Win32 disk imager, you will see the letter here, the drive. So we have the D. Open the folder in which there is your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, OS image. One second. I here and then right, just click right. So for me, it's right in, uh, in German language, but click right. Yes. And this process can take long time. Just be patient. If you are having trouble to flash your device, these tips might help you. Some micro USB cables just have power cables but not data cables. If the device is not found at all, this might be the problem. Sometimes on the RubPi Connect, the flashing stops in the middle. Make sure you use the bridge for the watchdog that I mentioned earlier. Sometimes on USB port just does not do it, then try using another USB port. So finally the flashing is ready. Now you can remove the cable and reboot your Pi. Don't forget to connect your Pi with uh, your network and search for the IP address or use monitor and log in. So, um, I will search for mine. I'm using Mobex Uh You can just scan the network and find my IP address. Yes, here. I found myself. So. The image is fitted with the username Pi and the standard Raspberry, the password. On the German keyboard, you will need to type raspberries with the Z as the English keyboard is selected on default. So, username is Pi. Password, raspberry, right. Now, we are in. So, in the command line, you are now asked to add some information. This is to make sure that your ref pi gets the correct mm, serial number, serial number, after me, the MAC address and the password as printed on the front here. Sorry, MAC address is here, serial number is here, and the password and username is here. So, we are using the connect. You choose connect. The serial number is just here. Okay, mine is... The MAC address is just here. We have two of you. And we are in. It's really easy, that's it. So, 
as a last thing the reply image is made for 4 giga device if you have more make sure to expand the fire system uh, so that you have more than just 4 gigabytes available for this please type sudo rsd config and then advanced options expand fire system okay then and reboot yes he's asking about rebooting say just yes and your reply is just re rebooted i hope that you enjoyed the video with me i will for sure see you soon and uh